Hi, I've clicked on to today's tropical tidbit for Tuesday over here in the Atlantic. Still fairly quiet out there. We did have a tropical wave yesterday. It looked really nice east of Nicaragua, but as expected, moved inland into Central America before having a chance to do anything more than just look nice. It will be bringing heavy rains here to Central America, and it may be only the first wave of heavy rains that Central America may be plagued with for the next several days as the monsoonal circulation strengthens over this area, likely bringing them lots of surface convergence and rainfall as air rises right over the continent and they may have some big flooding issues in here. They've had warnings even issued for that for the next several days as flooding will be an issue. And again, with the models detrending now, starting to show most of the low pressure developing either over land or over here in the eastern Pacific, similar to what I said yesterday, how the eastern Pacific is favored in this pattern and thus any development that tries to get going in the Caribbean will likely get pulled right into land or perhaps no development tries at all. It will just be over land in the eastern Pacific the entire time, bringing rain to these folks and potentially a new named storm to the Pacific during the next several days and on into early next week. We do have a tropical wave east of the Lesser Antilles, which is losing its convection as it is moving into an unfavorable environmental loft, as I also mentioned yesterday. And a wave that we can't see is over western Africa, getting ready to come out over the Atlantic. The GFS is not as aggressive as it was with it and its signature in the eastern Atlantic. However, it may still be something to watch as an interesting feature, probably not a significant threat for any kind of real development, but it will be interesting to see as these waves start to come off a little bit more well-defined, perhaps with a little bit more moisture and starting to watch this area of the world for any kind of development over the next few weeks as it is getting towards that time of year to start watching the entire tropical basin as opposed to just watching towards the west. Now there is one more feature that has come to light during the last day. I mentioned this at some point yesterday afternoon. As we go out in the next few days, we're going to have a trough moving off the eastern seaboard. And the nice thing about these central United States ridges is that sometimes they try to build northeastward in the wake of these troughs. And things can happen when they do that. This particular trough is running into another ridge to its east here and is going to have a hard time lifting out to the northeast, which means that they get positively tilted and the tail starts to lean back towards the southeast United States coastline and as this ridge builds northeastward in its wake things can happen because it gets stuck down there. This is day four. If we go out to day six notice what happens. This trough is still hanging out here but it's leaning back and there's an area of low height sitting off the southeast United States coastline as this ridge builds in over the top trapping it down there and this is when we can get stuff to happen. So if we look down at the surface on the GFS here's what's sitting there a weak area of low pressure sitting right off the southeast United States coastline along this frontal boundary that's getting trapped with surface high pressure to the north of it. And this is the kind of thing that can get you some home brew, some homegrown mischief going right off the Carolinas. Georgia, East Florida coastline, something to be watching for. And what's interesting is that not only the G not only the GFS is showing this now, check out the European is actually stronger, 1,008 millibar low right off the Georgia South Carolina border by day seven over here as this ridge is built over the top of this trailing trough. Classic homebrew situation, something that every model is now hinting at and with the GFS and European leading the way, it's a very interesting scenario because to have those two models agree on something so fine and detailed as a homegrown development right near the coastline is interesting to see and means that it is a situation that we should definitely be watching for seriously. If something does develop here, here. It's unclear exactly where it will go. Likely what it'll do is it'll just follow the nose of the ridge and move inland, which both won't give it much time to strengthen if it does develop, but will also be something to watch even closer because it is making landfall. It is also possible that if it develops far enough out, it could get dragged out towards the east, but as of right now, the models tend to drag it west, and I agree with that. Of course, we will see once we get closer in on the situation what exactly we may be dealing with, but it will be something to watch out here for these folks if we get something sneaking up in our backyard along this frontal boundary. It would be the first time we've actually had a chance at that this year. So so it will be interesting to watch this pattern as we move on in the next several days, later this week and towards the weekend. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.